There's a big workforce development event happening this morning, exposing hundreds of students to construction industry career paths. That's right. Chris Latronic joins us now live in the Aloha Stadium parking lot with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sarah, Sam, and everybody on this a beautiful day. And it's a pretty important one on this Thursday as there's a big uh, workforce development event happening right here at 8 a.m. Uh, to help uh, flourish the construction industry and introduce a lot of people uh, to uh, some of the great jobs that it offers and also get a taste of some of the equipment you could work with. So you can see kind of beautiful here at Aloha Stadium, uh, but also to tell us more is the president of the Hawaii Construction Career Days, Melanie Martin. Good morning to you, Melanie. Pretty exciting time. And you just got an update. There's going to be a lot more people experiencing this, right? Yes. Instead of 1,400, like you just said, over 1,700 students and teachers are coming today. Wow, so that's we're amazing. So excited. So there we go. Breaking news. We already broke that ceiling going up to 1,700 plus. So what's kind of uh, uh, getting people, uh, attracting people to this event? I think because this career fair is not like any other career fair, it's like career fair on steroids because the kids actually or the students actually get to go on the equipment operate the arms of the equipment they get to go in the trades area and do hands-on activities the operators here the operating engineers they have computer simulators crane simulators so it's a hands-on activity so it's like a no field trip ever has this kind of hands-on activities yes I, I totally believe that and yes I'm seeing a lot of different vehicles that I've never seen before and all top of the line uh, top technology that we're seeing right now in the construction industry and because right now there's a, there's a labor shortage when it comes to construction jobs right yes there is a lot of projects coming up in the federal government like nearly four billion dollars worth of projects that are coming up in the next few years and we don't have the workforce so we have to get the students at a young age interested in a career in the construction industry. Yes, and speaking of youth, there's a pretty cool story with uh, one of the high school kids that actually got hired by Swinerton, is that correct? Yes, yes, and it's in the career guide. That's a success story that we like to promote. Okay, so yes, you, well, we'll have the career guide online and also it'll be distributed to everybody that participates within the next couple of days. Melanie, Presidente, thank you so much. And it's all happening throughout the morning. We'll be here uh, getting you an update and also uh, getting a live look at the event when it starts at 8 a.m. this morning. So go check it out. We'll also have more information on our website at khun2.com. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii live from the lower Halava parking lot of Aloha Stadium. Sending things back to you.